Hey, what's going on, fragrance lovers? Um, first and foremost, I want to get this off, you know, right off the top. Um, I want to thank all my subscribers and, and even, you know, the people that aren't subscribed, just people in general who chimed in and, you know, uh, voiced their concern uh, for my well-being um, in the aftermath of uh, Hurricane Irma. But, you know, I, I'm squared away, people. I, I am good to go. And the reason, again, I live well inland, so... No matter how strong a hurricane is, by the time it gets to here, you know, it's not as bad. And because immediately after striking land, it starts to weaken. How much it weakens, I guess, depends on a lot of factors. But be that as it may, um, you know, we're still good to go. And we didn't receive any damage whatsoever. Not even so much as a shingle blown off the roof. Um, which is ironic since the, uh, the fence that separates um, my house from my neighbor is you know part of it is blown down not the whole thing but part of it blew down but it's old and decrepit anyway so i'm i'm probably going to talk to him within the next couple of weeks or so so we can like work out something to, to go hazies on a new fence to go out there because uh you know uh, like i said it was old and decrepit and uh you know we'll probably go with the vinyl fence instead of the the wooden one because that one sucked anyway i feel for the people that got smacked by the storm um, I wish you all, I wish you all Godspeed and, and, you know, hope everything works out for you. We didn't even lose any power, so we were really lucky. But anyway, thanks again, guys. But you came here for a review. Boom. You're gonna love this juice right here. And this fragrant journey begins now. Alright people, here we are. This is my review on a, uh, a stunner coming out of the house of Serge Lutin. This beauty is called Batin de Feu. Basically that means baptism of fire in man. Is it very aptly named? Let me explain why. But before I do, let's start with the notes. Stand by. to God very very weird notes inside here but before you freak out let me explain to you and then you'll understand why the notes are so weird let me just put it this way it's gonna make you think of a carnival if you've not smelled this you simply cannot understand what I'm talking about you have to smell this to believe it the, the color of the juice, if you can see, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but it looks like to, like it's um, like a pinkish, purplish color. That's exactly what I'm seeing. So anyway, for those that don't know what a carnival is, I'm going to go ahead and flash pictures. carnival affair we have one up back home where i'm from in the town of topsfield it's called the topsfield fair candy covered apples uh or candy apples caramel apples um cotton candy chicken fingers fries hamburgers hot dogs fried dough funnel cakes ice cream all that bad shit that you're not supposed to eat in abundance of 
uh, is what I'm reminded of when I smell when I smell this fragrance. All right. So the gunpowder, how does that play a role? Well, simple. Uh, when you go to a carnival, you see a, a shooting gallery, right? You really don't smell gunpowder. At least I never have. But you know, I think, I think it's I think it's uh, I think they use air now. But back in the old days, I think they did use a, a small amount of gunpowder, um, you know, so you can shoot down the targets or whatever. You know, again, it, it's it's just it's a carnival or a fair in a in, in a bottle. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about what happens when I spray it on my skin. All right. What happens when I spray it on me? Well, it's real simple. Right out of the gate, right out of the gate, the very first thing you're gonna notice is burnt orange pills and gunpowder, period, okay? That's exactly what it's gonna smell like. It's gonna smell like you're at a gun range next to oranges that have been set on fire. You blew the, the fire out and now you're left with the smoke. Uh, about an hour later, that burnt orange pill and gunpowder are going to fade, I mean, ever so slightly. Um, you almost, I mean, you literally have to, I mean, your olfactory senses have to be like like cash money if you detect even the slightest bit of a fade after an hour. But the, I mean, the only reason why I say it fades, maybe it doesn't fade. You know what? I think it's when the other notes join in. Um, because the gunpowder in this fragrance doesn't go away. Okay, it might fade just, to, I mean, ever so slightly, but it, it stays throughout this fragrance's time on your skin along with the burnt orange peel. About an hour later, then you're gonna get incense. And I mean a good dose of smoke. Um, so for the first, you know, couple of hours, you're talking burnt orange peel, gunpowder, and smoke. Absolutely incredible. All right, uh, about maybe another 30 to 45 minutes after, that's when it starts to get really gourmandish. Gingerbread, fresh ginger. It smells like a gingerbread cookie. Um, you know, about 90 minutes, maybe two hours into this fragrance. It's going to smell like a gingerbread cookie. Now, I want you to calm down for a second if you're freaking out because this fragrance is supposed to be weird. The, I mean, the notes would literally tell you that is a, it is a very weird fragrance, but, you know, um, when you think about it, it's right on the money. And I'm pretty sure that that was Uncle Serge's intentions from Jump Street. All right. Uh, smoked gingerbread cookie with uh, at a firing range with oranges that have been set ablaze. Okay, 30 minutes later, maybe 40 minutes later, then it's gonna get cinnamony, and then at the very end of this fragrance, it's gonna get really, really animalic. Um, and that's if you don't like animalic fragrances, it's you can still pull this off. And I say that because by the time the castorium or the animalic accord kicks in, this fragrance is pretty much a skin scent. It's a, a very, very metallic fragrance, and I'm guessing that's because of the gunpowder. Now, I'm, I'm former military, 11 Bravo, all right? I, I know what gunpowder smells like, and uh, this is it. It's a very weird scent. Um, but how he mixes, you know, a bitter, and I guess the, the orange is, you know, it's the orange in here is not a, uh, a juicy orange. I was about to say it's a very bitter, almost like orange zest. Like you took the peels, you squeezed the hell out of them, you got all that zest, and then you throw all the other stuff that, you know, in there. And that's basically what you're going to get. Very, very gourmand, but a weird type of, uh, you know, metallic smoky thing going on as well. And then, you know, like I said, it turns into a a raunchy ass skanky animal um, at the end when this when this fragrance is a skin scent so uh, very challenging if you don't like to be noticed where somebody smells a fragrance on you and it's nothing like fresh or or aquatic or anything like that and people are wondering what the hell is that smell and then yeah you're you're not gonna wanna uh, have any part of this but if you like living on the edge then Get on this because it's it's flipping phenomenal. At least that's my opinion. So longevity. Um, I to be honest with you, I think I've sniffed maybe five 
fragrances from Uncle Serge, and I and I have three of them um, in my collection. And uh, of the five that I have sniffed, in the three that I have, this is the strongest. Um, some might chime in, oh, well, you never got your nose on, or whatever. But again, uh, to me, of the ones that I've sniffed, this is the strongest. Longevity, we're talking about a good eight to 10 hours, and about six of those hours, you're gonna be projecting pretty, uh, pretty good. After that, it gets close to the skin, not wicked close, but close enough where, you know, if you're out and about, and you still wanna have that, you know, burnt orange pill, gunpowder, you know, gingerbread cord, you're probably gonna to have to reapply. Um, before this takes a dive, you're probably talking maybe 12 hours before it's gone. Um, well, not gone. 12 hours before you literally have to bury your nose into your skin, you know, for you to be able to detect it. It's a strong one out of the gate, but uh, you know, about 12 hours into it, um, you're going to be struggling to, to, to smell it. But while it's in motion, it's going to be a good motion. Trust me on that one. All right, now, final thoughts on this, because it's a quickie. Once again, it's, it's going to remind you right out of the gate and throughout its, um, you know, uh, time on your skin of a fair, a carnival, or like a boardwalk where you're getting all those smells, you know, and you might be asking, well, where does the animalic uh, vibe come in? What's that have to do with the carnival? Well, in most fairs, all right, in most carnivals, you will have a petting zoo, you know, you will have a petting zoo. So you're going to be able to see, you know, chickens and goats and cows and pigs and stuff like that. I'm assuming that's where he gets the animalic uh, inspiration uh, for this because again, this is definitely, this is a carnival in a bottle. Like I said, it's a carnival in a bottle. So if you know you want to know what it's like to get in there and start riding stuff like Tilt the Worlds and the Roundups and, and the Rota, stuff like that, that's it. People, for the Boston people, think of, uh, like, I, like I said, think of the Topsfield Fair, King Richard's Fair, or even old school um, Revere Beach or Salem Willows. There you go. Uh, for those of Boston folks, they'll know what I'm talking about. A very, very unique fragrance. I've smelled nothing like this, nothing. And um, I think you're gonna like it, again, if you like taking chances, all right? You, you, you can't go crazy on this because if you spray too many, you're gonna start making people think crazy things about you. Like, what the hell is this guy doing? But uh, it's a really nice fragrance, a very nice fragrance. And it's definitely not mainstream. Remember, listen to me closely. It is not mainstream. If you're looking for something mainstream, stop the tape right now. Not going to happen. This is very, very strange. Okay? Um, unless you're like me. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Is I love being noticed. I love, love being noticed. I love standing out in, you know, in, in the crowd. That's just me. I'm, I'm normally an introvert. But, you know, I don't really want to talk to you if I don't know you, but I want you to notice me, all right? That's just me. This is going to get you noticed. Good, bad, or indifferent, you will be noticed while wearing this, all right? Once again, from the house of Serge Lutin, it is Batin de Feu. And that's it. I'm done. My next review is soon. I'll talk to you later. But at least for now, in the interim... I'm about to grab this mic and I uh, Come on, baby And the ball Yeah, get it off the Tell me who's that hot boy coming